hi guys welcome to bread of life kitchen if it's your first time coming across my video please subscribe thumbs up like and share with friends and family hit on that um, bell icon so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be forced to be notified wow happy new week guys so today we are going to have a wonderful recipe uh we are going to be making ogbolo and uh, okra soup combo wow <laughs> yummy nice easy recipe so uh, we have our, our okra here this okra is so beautiful i feel like eating it yeah <laughs> you can eat it raw yeah for its benefits it's so nice beautiful so we're going to wash and chop it off so let's um quickly look at our other ingredients i've got my turkey here all washed i've got my beef I've got my chicken and here also we have our stripe uh, you can also call it a shaki we've got our cow foot here all washed you can see so have my onions I've got two large onions I have my uh, macro fishes I've got two large macro fish two large macro fishes rather so I'm going to debone so we have to be very careful most especially when kids are involved so I have to take uh, all the bones on it. So I've got my chopped onions. I've got my garlic paste, uh, ginger paste. I've got my spinach here. Yeah. Feel free to use any vegetables of your choice. You can use um, punky leaves. You can use bitter leaf. But today, for today's recipe, I'm using the uh, spinach. So I've got here yeah, my large, gorgeous, splitted. A catfish as you can see it's already smoked so I'm going to uh, debone it so beautiful so I've got my bell pepper yeah <laughs> not missing that at all I've got my bell pepper I'm having the red bell pepper for decoration and color diversity you know I love it so much I've got my um, four scotch bonnets and then my palm oil so beautiful yeah so I have my uh, uh, Ogbono seed. This is how it looks like. It's an uh, Africa uh, white mango. That's where we got the seed from. So beautiful. It's got its own uh, health benefits as well. So not going into that for today. I've got my bouillon cubes. I have three there. I'm just uh, seasoning the meat with um, my thyme and a little bit of uh, salt. So now I'm going to take my pot because I'm making a large uh, portion of a uh, ogbolo and a uh, okra soup. So I'm going to cook the first, uh, the hard meat, the hard ones first because uh, our cow foot is so hard. So I'm going to cook that first and the stripe or the shaki rather, as we all know in Africa, that's how we call it. So I'm going to um, boil that one for about 15 minutes before I I will add my uh, chicken, turkey, and beef. Okay. So, guys, uh, our meat is here. I've already added in the pot. So, I'm going to add our onions in. Then, uh, our thyme. Just a bit of it. Bouillon cubes. Anyways, it's going to dissolve in, into it as the meat is boiling. So I have a bit uh, of salt. So that's it. So while this is boiling, I will go and prepare our our ogbolo. I'm going to blend it. Yeah, I like blending my ogbolo at home. As it's like this, it's so fresh. So I'll blend it. 
So guys, this is our meat. We've garnished it with our bouillon and cubes, thyme and salt. So while this is boiling, I'm going to um, blend our ogbolo, the ogbolo seed. You can see it's so beautiful. So I will be right back. Well, uh, so sorry guys, I forgot to um, bring out my crayfish. This crayfish is so wonderful. It plays a big role also. When you are blending the ogbolo, it helps it to blend so easily and fast. So now I'm going to blend and uh, I will chop my uh, okra. I will show you the way I'm going to chop my okra. And uh, you can also use your food uh, processor. So I'm using both. I'm using my uh, knife and I'm also using my food uh, processor to do it. You can also grate. Yeah, that's another way also. So I'll be showing you guys how to do it. So hello guys, I finished boiling my meat. So this is the stock now. I'm going to pour in the peppers inside. Like so. I'm going to add some water, into water to it. Just to raise the jug. Hello guys, so I just added the red bell pepper. So I'm going to add my oil right away. Uh, well, I soup have uh, a lot of uh, ways of making it. So why I added the red red pepper in is to give it that uh, vibrant uh, color. If you don't want to add the palm oil here, you can still also skip that. So I added the um, red bell pepper to give it that uh, vibrant color. And uh, I've noticed it that if your soup is getting to two, three days, it's like it's a bit weak. <laughs> so that uh, red bell pepper you uh, blended it in will make it alive. You get me? It's just a tip. <laughs> so I'm going to add my obono. Yes, you can call it obono or obolo. Where I come from, we call it obolo. So just dry thing. And give it a quick stir. You see the color? It's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. So as it's boiling, it colors up. So beautiful. So I'll allow to simmer for just uh, let me say about uh, 10 minutes before I will add my meat. It's so slimy. You can see, see the way it's bubbling. So beautiful. So beautiful. So I'm going to allow it to simmer. So while on the fire still on the fire, I'm going to um, cut my my okra. You can blend. I'm just going to chop. So spray around the okra. It's fun. Yeah. Careful the way you handle the knife, you just make a split on it. You chop. You see? So easy. I like doing this. While growing up in Africa, cooking with my mom in the kitchen, I like chopping uh, the okra. I tell her, Mom, let me do this. Because it's fun, it's fun doing it. So easy. To make it bigger, bigger chunks, you can like it this way today. 
can also blend it. I thought of showing you guys the way I blend my hair. I don't think I will. I will be doing that today. Maybe my next video. Yes. Just form, 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 form. It's a knife. That's it. So beautiful. Also pass uh, my part again. You want it to be a bit um, smaller, the smaller particles? Yeah, you can also do it. I think it's okay. It's fine like this. Yeah. So that's it. So guys, you can see our soup is steaming up. So I'm going to put our beef inside. All our meat, our cow leg, so that the meat will infuse inside the soup. Mm, sorry for that. So, like this. Isn't it gorgeous? So slimy, so beautiful. So I'm adding our okra right away. Very simple. This soup you can eat it with um, amala, fufu, banku, eba, etc. So we're going to stir. We just added our okra inside with a good stir. Smells great. So beautiful. So I add our smoked fish. All the fish is inside. So I had all our fishes inside. Stand gently. to add our spinach and of course our onions so easy five minutes time our soup will be ready As you can see, I didn't add the, the turkey inside because um, I don't want it to be too soggy. So I just left that aside in the oven. So anybody that wants to eat turkey will just take along with his uh, is. Okay guys, food is ready. Our soup is ready. So yummy, looks so beautiful, as you can see. So colorful, beautiful, and tasty, of course. So you guys are invited. <laughs> Come and join me to eat. Looks so gorgeous and so slimy. Yeah, this is it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much. So subscribe to my channel, Bread of Life Kitchen. Thumbs up. Share, share with friends and family. Hit on that uh, bell icon so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Bye-bye.